Hi everyone, my name's Anne Marie. Welcome to this card making project. Today we're going to be making a card using some papers from the Anna Griffin French Floral Collection. And I've just made sure that my card had a nice sharp fold on it. And everything I use, I shall put in the description box below. If there's a link where you can purchase it, I'll include that. And if there's any other information, I'll include what I can. If you ever have any questions or comments, please feel free. If you like it, please give me the thumbs up and let me know. Let me know what you think and let me know what you want to see. If there's any projects or anything that you've got that you don't know how to use, ask and I shall do what I can. So I'm starting off with my card base and I've already cut one of the papers to fit to create a matte and layer for our card base. I've added tape on the back of it so I shall just peel the back of my tape away and then we shall add this as our first layer. This is a flat layer and I'm hoping I'll get it roughly straight to put it on and that doesn't look too bad to me. I've inked the edge very lightly with an olive green ink pad just to take away the harsh whiteness because there seemed to be um, a little bit of, well it wasn't harsh white, it was the ivory and I just wanted to take that down a little bit and make it a bit darker. So next what I've done is I've embossed a piece of cream card and I've used the Anna Griffin Garden Cuttings Embossing Border Folder and I've literally added tape on the back of it not 3D tape, just flat tape and I'm just laying that across the middle of our card just to give it a little bit of texture now this is what you're going to go wild for and I know that you're going to ask me to do a technique demonstration for it I've made some paper weaving to make a layer to go next on our card I've used scrap paper all from the Floral French Collection and I've literally cut the papers into inch wide strips made a base that, for them to sit on and I've weaved the base with the strips each of the strips the edges were inked so I'm going to use this as my next layer if I get enough people asking me to show you the paper weaving I will do you a technique but we'll just see how we go, you might manage it yourselves, you might not need me to show you so I'm just going to pop that as our next layer onto our card. Again, I've inked the edges with an olive green ink pad just to make it look as though it's got a little bit more depth. So next, what I've got is from one of the Anna Griffin large ornate dies. I've taken two pieces, I've cut them away from the corners as you can see and I've just used ivory card to cut them out and I'm just going to add a little bit of glue at one end in the centre now if you were wanting to add more glue obviously you could I'm just doing this for quickness because I need them to stick down if I wasn't filming this I would probably add glue to more of the behind like behind the little flow, the sticky out bits but unfortunately we've just not got time to sit and watch me add glue to all of it so I've added it where it counts so next I've also cut one of the fretwork dies now this little die I think is underrated because it's so useful for so many different things and I'm literally just going to add a bit of glue through the centre of it and I'm going to pop it over the top of our two other pieces like that okay press it down a little bit next I've got one of Anna's stickers from the All Occasion sticker kit and this says with gratitude so I'll just peel it away from its backing sheets and I'm going to literally place that in the centre over 
our cut embellishments from the die and press it down. The last thing I've got is a bow. Now I should really use a glue dot on this because I know bows can be terrible for sticking with glue. So I'll use a glue dot, I'll fold it the glue dot in half and I'll put it on the back of the bow like that. And I'm going to place the bow with the little tails going under the layer of the sentiment like that. So they just stick out and that is our card finished and that is a really quick pretty card using papers from the French floral collection and using scrap papers because I'm sure you've all got a box of them and they will all mix and match and then using our embellishments from our dies and our sentiments. So I really hope you've enjoyed watching and I hope you've like, enjoyed the card project. If you have, please give me the thumbs up, make a comment, why not subscribe and hopefully I shall see you again next time. Yet again, I forgot to show you the size comparison at the end for our little card. So here it is on our chart. We've got the A5, 7x5, A6, A7, ATC. And our little card sits nicely. It's just less than A6. So you can see that on the chart. So thank you again for watching. And I shall see you next time.